BMW's R1250GS is widely considered the ultimate adventure bike. Over the past 40 years, the GS series has sold over 1.2 million units worldwide and has set the benchmark for the large ADV market. Harley-Davidson's Pan America, on the other hand, is the brand's first crack at an adventure bike. For the past 118 years, the motor company has catered to the American market with cruisers and baggers. So when Harley developed its first full-size ADV, they knew it needed to measure up to the Beamer's segment-defining R1250GS. Marking a new technological height for the brand, Harley's adventuring aspirations rest on the broad bodywork of the Pan America. But is that enough? Let's do a quick comparison. But before we dive into the details, if you're new here and you want to catch some amazing motorcycle related content and new bike releases, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Harley and BMW both lean on brand heritage with their engine choices. A 60 degree V-twin for the Pan America and a big bore boxer for the Beamer. Both mills are packed with current technology like liquid cooling, dual overhead camshafts and variable valve timing. The two boast nearly identical capacities as well with the 1250GSS 1254cc volume marginally lower than the Pan Am's 1252cc displacement. But that's where the similarities end. With 102.5mm bore and 76mm stroke, the Beamer's Boxer pumps out 136 horsepower power and 105 pound-feet of torque. Harley's Revolution Max engine favors a larger 105 mm bore and a shorter 72 mm stroke resulting in 150 horsepower and 94 pound-feet of torque. The Pan America's 13 is to 1 compression ratio also helps it gain a few ponies over the GS and its 12.5 is to 1 compression ratio. While engine performance goes to the Harley on paper, both models deliver power with vastly different means. Keeping things simple, Harley sticks with a conventional final chain drive. Sure, chain drives require frequent cleaning and lubing, but they are also easy to replace and work on. BMW's GS series is synonymous with the shaft drive and users benefit from maintenance free riding as a result. However, repairing a shaft drive on the side of the road or a trail isn't in the cards for most GS pilots, so there are pros and cons to both setups. On a similar note though, the two models also require different valve train maintenance. With the Harley implementing hydraulic adjusters, the Pan Am's valves are practically maintenance free. Users will need to service the bike after the first 1000 miles however and every 5000 miles thereafter. The Beamer on the other hand requires its first service at 600 miles and relaxes regular maintenance intervals to every 6000 miles. The GS does require valve adjustments though every 12000 miles. Aside from the powertrain, the two full-size ADVs employ very different components as well. The Pan America features a 47mm USD fork paired with a linkage mounted rear monoshock. The traditional setup nets 7.5 inches of travel at both ends, a figure only marginally outdone by the BMW's 7.9 inches of travel. Despite the comparable results, the GS is known for its ultra plush yet sweet handling telelever front end, single sided swing arm and para lever rear suspension. While the 1250GS and Pan America tilt off-road performance, the standard trims are more road-oriented. Both sport cast aluminum wheels, 19 inches forward and 17 inches at the rear, showed in dual sport rubber. Both brands offer wire spoke wheels, but the upgrade definitely increases the MSRP. When it comes to stopping power, the two models feature four piston calipers up front, providing more than enough stopping power on the pavement or in the dirt. The real difference maker is Beamer's two port rear caliper over Harley's single piston unit. Helping to maximize that two piston binder, BMW's IMU supported Integral ABS Pro caters to both street and dirt riding. 
Harley's rider aids do include lean-sensitive ABS and traction control, but Beamer's sophisticated system easily takes the cake here. To access the electronic suite, users will turn to a 6.8-inch TFT dash on the Pan Am, which barely eclipses the GSS 6.5-inch display. However, many riders would stand by the BMW's innovative interface over the Harley's infotainment system. In the cockpit, shorter adventurers will prefer the GSS 33.5-inch seat height over the Harley's 34.2-inch seat height, with a 5.2-gallon gas tank on the Beamer and a 5.6-gallon on the Pan Am, both will keep you in those perches for long stints. While the GSS 59.6-inch wheelbase suits twisty roads over the Pan Am and its 62.2-inch wheelbase, the Hawk's 534-pound wet weight may be easier to handle than the GSS 549-pound bulk. At $17,319 for the Pan America and $17,995 for the 1250GS, both bikes are evenly matched on paper. It's clear that the motor company took a page out of the GS playbook, but the Pan Am will have to perform in the real world if it's going to eat into BMW's market share. Of course, the two OEMs offer special edition models, Harley offers a Pan America Special and the Bavarian's NR1250GS Adventure to boast the platform's off-road capabilities. Both offer semi-active suspension and tubeless spoke wheels, but BMW overshadows the competition with a 7.9-gallon gas tank. While the Pan America represents a new formidable four for the 1250GS, only time will tell if Harley can carve out a niche within the large adventure segment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you excited about the Harley Davidson's Pan America? I am so looking forward to see and test ride the Pan America in person, so if you'd like to catch that video as soon as it goes live, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.